Hello, and welcome back to CS201 Walkthroughs. My name is Luke Hosh, and today we're going to be submitting homework on a Windows machine. So I have a Windows, this is what I did. Plenty of people have Windows, there is no need to freak out. Uh, take a couple of deep breaths, we're going to get through this together. This is just my preferred way for doing it. There are definitely other ways you can do it. Um, if you really want, you can take your homework on a USB drive and, and move it to someone's, someone's Mac and do it on their computer. This is what I think is the easiest. So the first thing I would do if I were you is open, I guess, search for CMD or for terminal. Terminal. So when I open terminal, it looks like this. Um, and when I try to run some kind of basic Unix commands, it, it fails. It says I can't run ls, which is you know a pretty important command in Unix. Uh, something you would be able to run on a Mac. So something that lets me do this is called PowerShell, which is why I'm at this page. Uh, you can test if you have PowerShell just by typing the word PowerShell and enter into your terminal. If you do, it'll say this. If not, it'll probably say something like PowerShell is not recognized as an internal external command. In that case, you're going to Google download PowerShell, find the instructions, or you can search PowerShell here uh, and it should give you some instructions to download it. Then, after you download it, you should be able to open your command prompt or your terminal, run PowerShell, and now you can see things are kind of colored fun. I can run ls, I can run cd, I can do all this fun stuff. So now I'm going to walk you through the steps of submitting your homework. More information about this is available on the course site, CS201. A uh, quick start guide for Linux available right here. I'm just going to be running you through really quickly what to do to submit your homework for now because I think that's probably what you're most interested in. The first step is going to be finding where your homework is on your computer. So for me, it's in desktop. I'll ls again to see what folders there are there. Right, it's in my Yale folder, so I'll go to cd Yale. I'll cd 2018-2019 uh, classes just because that's where I've, I've put this. I'll see the, oh, you might have noticed that I didn't type this all out. So what happens is if you type something, uh, like the beginning of a, of a folder name, so here, for example, I have folder CS201. I can do something like CD CS2, and then I press tab, and it'll autocomplete. Just a little trick to help you get faster, get around faster. Here are the, folder, uh, the files that I want to submit. So step one is done. We're in the correct directory with these homeworks that I want to submit. Step two is going to be to run the SCP command, which is pretty easy to find right here. Um, you run it with file, you, well, it's more detailed here. SCP file name, netid at node.zoo.cs.yale.edu tilde slash cs201. So we'll do just that. We'll say SCP file name is homework 0.rkt. Uh, my netid is lrc42 at node.zoo.cs.yale.edu. Yale.edu. Um, I do not have a CS201 folder. If you have recently, uh, very, very recently enrolled in the course, you might not either. Um, wait about 15 minutes if this command doesn't work. But if you've enrolled more than 15 minutes ago, then this should work. You're just going to run uh, scp this at lrc at node.zoo.cs.yale.edu tilde slash CS201. Instead, I'm going to run CS210 because I actually have the CS210 folder. It should make you log in. It won't show you what you're typing, but you are typing. There we go. So I've submitted homework zero. I'm going to do the same thing with response.pdf. Another trick that I just used but didn't tell you is if you click the up arrow key, you don't have to type out the whole thing again. So you can go around and you can you can type it out again if you want to, but it's much easier to just click enter or to click up. So I'll do the same thing with response.pdf. I'll go back to the end, click enter, type in my password again. There we go. We've uploaded both into the zoo. I have not yet submitted them. If this is all you do, you will get no points on your homework, and we'll all cry together. Um, so that was step two. Was to SCP. We have a couple more steps. Now we're going to need to SSH into the zoo. So connect to the Yale zoo server or network or whatever from our own computers. So we're going to do SSH. The command is right here. You might notice. 
ssh netid at node.zoo.cs.yale.edu. Again, and it'll ask for your password. <clears throat> then it will give you all of this kind of a login, or I don't know, this welcome information. I've, I've never really worried about this. You shouldn't have to either. Um, I mean, it says, please do not power off zoo workstations or their monitors, so don't unplug computers in the zoo when we have office hours there or anything like that. Otherwise, don't worry about these. Um, I've connected to a random node, which in this case it says is called monkey. That's fine with me. I'll ls to see what folders I have. So here's my CS210 folder. You should have a CS201 one, a 201 folder. We'll cd into that, cdcs201. I'll write 210 ls, and you can see that I've successfully uploaded these files. Um, the last step is to run the submit command. So it's slash c slash cs201 slash bin slash submit the homework number. So now at zero in the future, it may be one or two or three or four, or whatever. And then the file names, and you can write multiple at once. So homework zero dot rkt response dot pdf. I'm not going to run this because I can't because I don't have a CS201 folder, I'm not in the class. But when you run this, uh, it, it should work. It should ask. It might ask you to confirm, um, but it should be clear what to do from there. To check whether this has worked, you can run a similar command, slash c slash cs201 slash bin slash check, and then the homework number, and that's it. When you run this, it should tell you what files you have submitted for that homework. If that doesn't work, come into office hours and we're going to be happy to help you. Or check out this quick start guide, it'll probably have explanations of all of your questions. To get out of the zoo, all you have to do is run exit. Thanks for watching this video walkthrough. If you have any questions, as always, come into office hours, email the CS201 help email, or post on Piazza. And I'll see you in the next one.